Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts Bolt Speech, and with formatting trick number six for the Office Timeline Plus added, I lied about there only being five tricks. And here we're going to look at quickly flipping between different time units in your Gantt Charter Timeline, so years, months, week, etc., without performing any manual calculations, which if you're building these types of graphics manually, is something you can't really avoid. So here in PowerPoint, you can see that I have my Office Timeline Plus Gantt chart that I've already built out. But right off the bat, notice I've changed the timing of this. So now we're going from 2016 all the way over to 2019. And I've changed my task down below so that it spaces more evenly out over that time period. And let's say that you built this for your boss and your boss reviewing it. And he says, you know what? I really don't like this March, August with the 2017. It's just too broken up. I would prefer to see this in quarters before we pitch it at the upcoming client meeting. Well, if you had built this graphic manually, you would need to add a bunch of shapes and manually come in and change this and try to line the quarters up with your dates down below. Well, because this is all already within the office timeline add-in, the add-in will do all the heavy lifting for you. So all you need to do is come up to the office timeline plus tab in your ribbon, come over to the styles gallery where your macro edits are made. Notice that there's a scale option. And if your boss wants to see it in quarters, instead of spending all night figuring it out, select quarters, hit OK. The graphic goes to work for you and boom, there's your office timeline graphic now calculated in quarters. And if you then go to the client meeting and the client thinks better in weeks, they say, you know, I just don't think well in quarters. Could you please update the graphic into weeks and then send it to me again, instead of going into Excel and performing a bunch of manual calculations, all you need to do office timeline plus tab style for your macro edits, choose weeks, select OK. The graphic goes to work and boom. There's your entire graphic now broken out into weeks, and it took you what? All of five seconds to pull off? That's the power of having all of your information in the Office Timeline Plus added. So that's how to quickly flip the units of your Gantt Charter timeline using the Office Timeline Plus add-in without performing any manual calculations. And I love, love, love this specific feature. This again is hands down the fastest way that I know of to build a timeline or Gantt Chart in PowerPoint while still retaining full control of the graphic. To get the full functionality of the add-in, you do need to get the paid version, but it'll more than pay for itself in time savings with the very first graphic you build with it. If you want a link to the Office Timeline add-in or a cheat sheet of the steps covered here, look for the links below in the description box. If you want to see more videos like this about the Office Timeline add-in, leave me a note in the comments section below. This is Taylor from Nuts of Bold Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.